unusual padlock designed by Lydia Sheo in the year 1832 uh, was the forerunner and granddaddy of the uh, paracentric pin tumbler key which is used so popular uh, today in 1990. The, uh, I'll remove the key to show the uh, type of, of construction that it uh, was and how it was made. The pin tumblers are in the body of the lock and the upper set of pins in this portion so that uh, and the key is inserted they align the pins at the shear line which is in between these two sections there were three of these locks made One was submitted to the Patent Office in 1832. One was, number two, was this particular lock, which was maintained and kept by Lydian Shale himself, the inventor. And there was a model number three, or prototype number three, that was given to the right-hand man of Linus Yale at the time of this concept. The number one lock submitted to the patent office has through the years not been found. The one number three, the model number or prototype number three, was given to Harry Miller by a locksmith in Albany, New York uh, on touring Albany on a Saturday evening I stopped by the lock shop and uh, came in to say hello uh, there were three men placing a safe up on a workbench to manipulate it or drill it at that time. And on seeing me enter the door, they said, oh, here's Harry Miller, we won't have to drill it now. And uh, so in any event, I joined with the fun of the group and was able to manipulate the safe open for them. Mr. Phillips, upon uh, completion of the repairs to the safe said that Harry I've uh, got a lock up on the wall here that has been here for over 30 years a man brought it in to have it rekeyed or opened and he never came back to get it so he presented prototype number three to me not knowing that it was a very famous lock that it was. I in turn had sold that uh, particular lock for a thousand dollars and used a thousand dollars to buy the lock owned by Linus Yale himself. Uh, this, I was in uh, Las Vegas playing cards on blackjack at a table and it turned out that the card dealer was the last remaining male heir in the Yale family. This lock had been passed through his family all those years and uh, he offered it to me for a thousand dollars and I implied and acquired the lock from him and all the history of the of the item.